It's over to you. Gents, thanks very much. Ladies and gentlemen, madams and messieurs, children of the age of 16 and above, welcome back to the Battle of Europe. We are about to kick off TCM versus Vibe. This is it, Mike. This is a big, big match. I mean, the, the stress and the tension is huge between these two teams. We've got Riot and we've got Fusion, the duo, up against Chalky, Ramirez. These guys have a huge rivalry going between them. Um, we're going to be starting off this first game with Warlord Five Flag, but let's talk a little bit more about the teams and some of the players. I'm looking to see some huge, huge things out of Chalky this event. I know it's, I know it seems a cliche, but Chalky is my man. I've got my money on Chalky. He's the guy I want to see going absolutely huge. And we're going to start this one off with none other than Respectful. Now, Respectful, this is his very first LAN final. The, the man has never set foot in school. the grand finals like this, uh, and this is a particularly exciting tournament to start off um, your your final career on. And as you can see, the game has begun. Yeah, when you when you come to your first of grand finals like this, you're gonna need to to come at the top of your game. And Respectful does have a lot of pressure on him, but as long as he has his teammates supporting him, he's gonna be playing well. Well, we just saw Ramirez take Respectful clean out of the game there. Now we see a uh, slight like sort of interesting push here from the start of uh, for Team Vibe. They've already pulled the flag, seeing a little bit of resistance there. Ramirez taking shots keeping himself alive. His teammates are doing their absolute best to make sure that that flag stays on the map, stays moving, and here we see Ramirez making his way across Green Bay's flag in hand. He's making some fantastic mileage there. He's almost made it halfway. There he is, he's over the base now. Fantastic throw, and his teammate Septic is gonna put it in straight away. Early Number cap. one cap on the board. Very early cap. Within the first minute of the game, they are not wasting any time. Let's hop on board with Chalky, and he's already running another flag, and they've almost got this back to their base. Oh my good god, Mike. Flag number two is already there. It is on the plat. It is, they, did not, they did not cap it. They did not cap it. It has been stopped by TCM Gaming, and now we are seeing a frantic rush, and there it is, cap number two. Cap number two. This is unbelievable. I cannot believe how quickly these teams have capped. What a start. What, what, a, a, start. what a start. They're working together so well. Mike, so I, well. I, I am on the edge of my seat. I did not expect things to get this exciting this quickly. This is the Battle of Europe. This no one, everyone's bringing their A game today. This is it. We've got two dead on TCM. So this is going to be time for Vibe to maybe even possibly run another flag. You see them making their way. Let's hop on board with Blackjack, yeah. And he's kind of sitting back, waiting for his teammates to spawn up and getting ready to make that push back into the flag. But now with this lead, Vibe is going to be able to play a little bit more relaxed. They don't have to panic and frantically try and get to their flag. Uh, but I let's hop on board with Two Fox. Two Fox, he's already got the flag into uh, into TCM's base. Now again, this is this is intense. Like this is real intense. I did not expect either team to be swinging this hard straight away. Uh, we've just seen three, all four down now for TCM Gaming. Let's jump on board with Chalky. Ramirez has already got the flag over halfway. He also has the camera. We're jumping it up. Ramirez got the flag on, back at the base for cap number three. The, team the, five. Three minutes has not even gone by in this game, and they already have three caps. This is insane. The Ramirez is currently the only team member alive for Team Vibe. He's brandishing that shotgun. He's having a fantastic game so far. I mean, this is honestly, this is shocking, shocking display from TCM Gaming. Are they even, are they even on the map, Mike? What's going on? What do you do as a player in this stage? How do you pull yourself back from such a, a, a large deficit? What Watching do you do? their screens right now, it just looks like they're playing really frantically. Let's hop on board with Two Foxy though. So Two Foxy, he's trying to pick up some kills. He's got his teammates down. He just needs to stay alive right now. Just stay alive, get a kill. He gets that kill. Now just stay alive. They're dying way too fast. They have two dead for too many times in a row. Now they've got all four players up. They've got two down on five. This is their chance to make this turn around. Let's see what Two Foxy can do. There's been some fantastic hype about Two Foxy leading up to this event. He is a fan favorite. He is a favorite of a lot of players. I do believe he received uh, MVP for the last two tournaments, unofficial MVP from, from the Halo uh, European community. And currently Riot's on board now, Riot's. That camo flag combo, we're seeing a resurgence from TCM. There it is, there's the cap, 3-1 on the board. Can TCM, can they dig deep? Can they recover? It is a big ask this stage in the game, but there is still plenty of time. I mean, the, the, it's the intensity the absolute fire that is coming out of Team Vibe straight out of the gates. I mean, what can TCM do? Can they throw a bucket of water on there? What TCM are they gonna do? is going to have to focus a lot right here because this is game one, and this is, could easily pace out the rest of the series. They don't want to lose this one by a lot, nor do they want to lose it all. So they want to they calm down, start communicating, and start working together. Because at, at the start of the match, you just saw all of them dying so fast. 
Dude, Riot's down. Hopping on board with Respectful. Fusion's down as well. They need to stay alive here. So we're Respectful and two Foxy. They just need to stay alive. Put through. Just be a nuisance. You've got too much to live for, boys. Don't throw your lives away. Jump on board now with two Foxy. The, uh, currently, the, one of the two members of TCM Gaming who's still alive, branching that plasma rifle. Nice job with the plasma rifle. The pro combo, I believe we call that one, Mike. Sadly, two Foxy will go down. We let's, will hop back, let's hop back on board with Chalky. Oh, They've Chalky. got three down on TCM. Looks like they're moving into the flag, possibly getting another run. Ramirez is running the flag. Chalky is clearing the way for him. Ramirez is actually taken down. Now he's going to turn back around, try and get back to the flag over here. Chalky taken down as well. They've got three down. Let's hop on board with Septic. He's the only one on team, only one alive on team Vibe. All four down. Let's hop on board with two Foxy. They've no. got all four down on Vibe. This is their chance to move up and try and get another flag cap. There we see. Nice two assists there. The flag is now currently on the move. Respectful. Here he is. Our, our first time finalist he's moving the flag. See how he goes. He's now taking fire. I mean, this is not looking good. His teammates are not quite in position. Oh, and out of nowhere. Who is that? Took him down straight away. Big, big whack there. Big whack. Flag's mine. I'll have that back. Thank you very much. Two Foxy's playing this incredible right here. Instead of running the flag, he just tosses the flag out. And now he can wait for his teammates to spawn up, move over, and he'll get shots on these guys. He's just being kind of like the distraction at their base. Able to pick up that kill. Incredible kill by Two Foxy. Now, They've got two dead on Vibe, and this is the chance to run the flag. Now we're seeing a lot more, um, a lot more flag runs from TCM. They're actually getting the flag out of the other base and then moving it. Now they just can't seem to defend that flag. I wonder we see Foxy do what he can now. Oh, he's taken up very, very quickly there by Blackjack. But he did do what he could to help keep that flag on the run. Oh, you see, we are jumping on board now with Mike, who's a Let's hop on board with Respectful. He's got two of his teammates down the same deal. He's got to stay alive. He's got the shotgun kill, and he kept the flag alive. That's an incredible play right there. He does not want that flag to get returned at a time like this. And we see cap number two. Yes, we do. Foxy keeping it going, and you can hear the players' voices. They are absolutely screaming at the top of their lungs. Their hearts are on their sleeves. The boys want this real... The, the bragging rights. It's the bragging rights above all else. You were just dropped by your former teammates. This is their chance to get revenge. What a stage it's been set for you to do that on. Let's hop on board. Let's get the... Let's get the blue squad going here. Let's take a look at the entire team. They've been working together really well. Uh, Ramirez and Chalky. You'll notice they've been working together quite a bit, shooting that guy down at the portal, able to pick him up. This is a fantastic, you can see the poetry in motion vibe. They're working fantastically together. There's a great, great chemistry there. Again, there's a fire in their bellies. They really want this, and you can see it in their gameplay. Now, currently, only one member of Vibe down. He will be back in just a moment, and we will see what they can do here to capitalize on these TCM gaming players being down. Currently, two down, three now down for TCM. I really like what Chalky's doing here. He's just sitting back on the side flag, just giving a lot of cover fire and kind of paving the way for this flag guy. Getting ready to run the flag in right now. Ramirez dies, jumping the flag in to their base. And Chalky's still just kind of holding this down, just not letting the enemy team get near the flag. And there we go. Another cap. That was absolute poetry in motion. Vibe are playing out of their skin now. 4-2. Chalky finally taken down. He was probably alive there for almost two minutes. Let's hop on board with Fusion now. Fusion trying to slowly make his way into the flag. Gets picked off, though. Not going to be able to get that cap. Let's switch over to Respectful. Respectful helping his teammate chase down. Chase down uh, Riots there. Oh, excuse me. Uh, chase down someone. Somebody on that team was killed. Uh, Respectful goes down. The touch, of the, the touch of death from the casters. Now, Chalky's just pulled the flag. We'll see how he does it. He's doing a great job of keeping the flag alive, causing a nuisance for the other team. He is brought down there. A nice team look there from TCM Gaming. They are not letting Chalky get away with those flag pulls. He's nothing but a nuisance. Now we got Blackjack. So there's two down on Vibe right now. Blackjack just trying to slowly stop these guys, stop Fusion right there from running the flag. Great job by Blackjack. Just staying alive, bottom middle, able to get another assist to take that guy down. He's doing a wonderful job of just kind of patrolling bottom middle. He's just moving around, dipping and diving, staying alive, picking up kills, getting guys weak, letting his teammates finish these kills, and he's using the Sentinel Beam. All right, finally makes it into the flag, tosses the flag out. He's going to make a run here, though. They've got two down on TCM. 
Blackjack unfortunately taken out the top on board with Chalky. That was a fantastic play from Blackjack. That was a few moments of just halo gold. But shots on players, he did damage, he pulled the flag. Sadly, his team couldn't capitalize on that, and the flag has been reset. But what a nice play. You're just seeing this is the kind of gameplay we're looking for here at the Battle of Europe. European Gaming League's Battle of Europe, and this is the, this is it, boys. You're going to bring your A-game, now's the day, because you do not have another chance of this. So you see Septic making his way into the flag. Chalky just laying down shots from top middle. Not very often do you see someone just control top middle like this. He's just able to stay alive up here. I'm surprised that TCM hasn't even put an eye on him, or even given him any, any fire or anything like that. Chalky's just finally taken down, though. And That's Septic, it. Septic That's comes it, in with the cap. Barely even noticed that because Chalky was just staying alive so easily. They had three down. Septic just came right in and capped that fifth flag to end that first game. What a first game. Oh, the you're quickest 3 0 you've here. ever seen was just uttered so fast, you won't even know it's happened. We can all go home. <laughs> I don't think so, boys. Look so at that. The that's going to be a pace changer. They, they've won game one. They kind of can ease up a little bit now. They have no, no stress on them. TCM's really going to have to bring this second match. Let's cut into the scoreboard here. Check out these uh, ratios. It looks like we've got some, some nice figures. See if we can get a look at those scores. Everyone loves stats. Well, you could look at us. How's it going? What do you think of that? That was exciting. That was incredibly exciting first game to kick it off. TCM versus Team Vibe. Now, Mike, given that first game, have your predictions changed? What did you predict? Did you want to, are you a TCM guy or you're a Vibe guy? Uh, I thought TCM was going to bring this entire tournament home. I mean, they're still not out, though. That game was close. They started out a little rough at the beginning. They were struggling. Uh, but first game can always be known as, like, the warm-up game, too, of your tournament. You, you're just kind of getting the jitters out, getting the feel for it. And, uh, yeah, it, it's easy to completely turn this game around, and especially out of a best out of five. It's, you've got a lot of time. There we see the boys from TCM Gaming enjoying some refreshing beverages from our wonderful sponsor at Rockstar. They're looking very composed. I mean, again, everyone's everyone's been around the block a few times. Given even, even respectful, he's he's definitely an experienced player. But this is his first final. I wonder how that kind of pressure is. Is it weighing down heavily? Mike, can you remember your first final? My first finals. Wow, that was back back on Final Boss. Well, we're setting the clock way back. That's a long time ago. A long time ago. But I mean, yeah, there's a lot of pressure, especially if it's your first. There's a lot of pressure, but you can't think about that. You just have to stay focused. Remember what you what you've done in practice and just go out there and do it. Go out and do it. This is why you play. This is why we all play. We want to get to the finals. We want to get it everything we've got, and we want to win. So, boys, getting ready now for game number two. Predictions. Again, sorry, I, well, my predictions, I, I didn't get to cover that. We, I'm looking for... Uh, I'm, I'm, I was a TCM guy to begin with, but I got to speak to the Vibe guys yesterday, and, um, and now, I must admit, I'm, I'm, I'm flying the Vibe flag. I'm flying yeah. it. I'm, I, I, think, I think between Chalky's uh, raw skill and his charisma. He's a very charismatic player to watch. He's very exciting to see on, on screen. And, um, and Septic, actually, Septic is possibly uh, one of the most passionate and invested gamers I've ever met in my life. And he really, uh, he was a really interesting person to speak to. And he, he totally convinced me the vibes of Team the Back. Yeah. So if you could go have a chat with Septic and see how it goes, he'll convince you of almost anything. You might jump off a bridge. Who knows? Yeah, and when we spoke to Chalky earlier, he was saying he was just going to drop two more overkills. He's promised two more overkills, and that's a promise. And this 